Why can't a world that is broken be put back together stronger and better than ever before? We can rise up and create something beautiful together. I'm going to start by acknowledging the elephant in the room. We're all going through great changes and enormous challenges right now in the world. We all know about the economic insecurity and disruption to every aspect of life. And for many people, stress and challenges to mental and physical health, plus strains on relationships. Let me introduce you to something which captivated me when I first saw it. It changed my, perspe it changed my perspective on how to view the world. The Japanese art of kintsugi, using pottery that is broken. It's a painstaking process to put the pieces back together again. This special art uses gold to connect the pieces, making something even more valuable and even more beautiful than the original article. To me, the most valuable piece of our broken world is the gold that is found when we look for it. The gold that follows the lines of the breaks and connects those pieces together. In relationships which are broken, if the couples still love each other, the gold is found in the work that is done, both individually and as a couple. The relationship may not ever be the same as it was, however, it can be better because of the gold that is found in communicating, understanding, learning and respecting each other. The new relationship can be even more exciting and full of discovery. That gold is the reward for putting the work in. The relationships which are continuing on through these challenging times are made possible by using technology. The gold is that so many more people are seeing each other via Zoom and FaceTime, no matter where they live in the world. Yes, there is nothing that beats physical hugs and connection. However, there is a payoff in changing our thinking and realizing that we can see each other more often than we ever did before if we hadn't embraced using technology for visual communication. The goal is that because people are making the effort to appreciate each other and their relationships, nothing is taken for granted anymore. My mum lives overseas. She's in her late 90s and is quite deaf. My sister lives in the same country, but quite a distance away from her. She's in care and she's been in care since she was 13. With the help of my sister's carers and the use of technology, my mum and I can see my sister and speak with her. The three of us have a beautiful connected time and she shows us paintings and drawings that she has done. It's a wonderful connected time and my mum can see her face, which is so much easier for lip reading and much easier than talking to her on the telephone. My sister has improved tremendously. The smile on my mum's face is gold and my mum is so happy. That happiness to me is gold. Talking about happiness, did you know that the happiest race in the world is the Finnish race, the Finnish people? The World Happiness Report 2021, which is compiled by Columbia University and the World Gallup Poll, rated Finland as the happiest country for the fourth year running followed closely by Iceland, Denmark, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. Traditions and cultures are interesting to explore when we're looking for gold. Many traditions are difficult to translate into English and are more of a concept than a tradition. Take Sisu, for example, which is a Finnish concept of determination and grit. The word originates from Sisus, which in Finnish 
literally means guts or the intestines. It's been described in a Finnish dictionary as the location in the body where strong emotions come from. During tough times and when Finland became independent from Russia in 1917, Sisu can be seen as the social glue that helped define the nation. Other Nordic countries such as Denmark with a culture of Hygge, which is the warmth and cosiness of time together, candles, lamps, cosy atmospheres, Something as simple as holding a mug of coffee with two hands instead of one, embracing the warmth and treasuring coziness and connection. Sweden has legom, which roughly translated means not too little, not too much, just right. It reminds me of Goldilocks and being that comfortable balance of just right. In other words, a balanced amount of everything in life just what is needed to be content. Many of us in these challenging times have been decluttering and exploring minimalist lifestyles and taking stock of what's really important in life. Elimination and unburdening ourselves literally and metaphysically is refreshing and creates space for what is important. Many more people are learning the benefit of clearing head trash from the past and physical clutter from the present. It is through this process of elimination and taking stock that we make discoveries of the gold that's been there all the time. There is more to this evolution than merely talking or reading about it. It's through the experience that we evolve and transform. Business has transformed through necessity during these current times. The gold is that time has been saved. And by using creativity, which is our highest expression, we can transform our businesses into something exciting, user-friendly and eco-friendly. Many people have discovered using technology and used it to their advantage. Even older people are learning and exploring the benefits of embracing technology. There has been a huge transformation for me personally. I no longer feel rushed going from place to place. I save time and money by working more online. It's convenient and it has limitless possibilities. For example, I was able to help someone online by spending over an hour with her in Asia. I was helping her to go through jackets, scarves, clothing colours, all while on my laptop. And we had a wonderful conversation for over an hour and a half. She appreciated the girly time and opinions about what to keep and what to get rid of in her wardrobe. And it was easily slotted into our daily schedules without even having to travel anywhere. Another great global concept is Meraki. I saw this in a cafe. The, the cafe is actually called Meraki. It has the description written on the wall in the cafe. This is the Greek word for something with soul, creativity or love. In other words, putting something of yourself into what you're doing, whatever it may be. There are many other traditions, concepts and cultures which have similar meanings to what I've discussed here. What is your own version of these global concepts? What can we look for in today's times to bring into light compassioning and connecting, adapting and creating? Identifying a way to move forward with courage and determination. What can we look for that will shine through during these challenging times? The gold is there, it shines through the cracks. We can use these concepts and our hearts for connecting, our heads for creating and our gutsy courage to move forward, to create, 
and determine a new, even better and more valuable world. One that has evolved from the best pieces of tradition and culture, the best pieces encompassing compassion, creativity and courage in our world. We can use this golden wisdom to sculpt, create and connect this beautiful world of ours using what we already have. It is in the process of elimination that we uncover the gold within. Go ahead now and discover the gold that is within you and around you. Open your eyes and your hearts. Discover that wonderful connector that is gold. Discover a whole new world which is open to all of us.